Today on Connecting with Community, we're in the town of Tecumseh, Ontario, just east of Windsor. Our special guest, Captain Slav Palser, Essex Windsor EMS. If you don't mind, tell us your first and last name and what you do here for the EMS. So my name is Slava Mirpalser. I'm a captain with Essex Windsor EMS and I'm a lead for the uh, Vulnerable Patient Navigator Program, which is our community paramedicine program. Slav, can you tell us a little bit about your role here with EMS and how you're supporting the vulnerable person sector? Absolutely. Uh, EMS has always done a great job with responding to uh, emergencies uh, in the community. Uh, one of the things that we've seen over a number of years is that we're starting to deal a lot with more chronic conditions like COPD, uh, CHF, uh, mental health addictions, social isolation, uh, just to name a few. And the skill set that paramedics carry, even though you know they're very skilled and they um, they do a great job of what they do, uh, there's better solutions for treating uh, some of those conditions, and that's uh, connecting with those community partners out there, and uh, you know finding a different solution outside of the emergency room. What are some of the obstacles to working with people who are vulnerable? Some of the obstacles of working with vulnerable uh, persons in the community, um, I would say, is uh, they're, they're not connected a lot of times. Um, for whatever reason, they haven't been able to find the right path and they're lost. And, you know, when, when emergencies happen, when they are in crisis, uh, the easiest thing to do is pick up the phone and call 911. Um, what we try to do is, knowing that there's better solutions out there, we, we try to identify those, uh, those gaps. And then when we identify them, connect them with the proper agencies uh, which are in the community and then ultimately monitor them, making sure that you know, they're following the right path uh, to success. How can we work together as a community to support vulnerable persons? For sure. Uh, to, I, I think to support vulnerable persons in the community, uh, you know, we have to uh, communicate uh, properly. We have to get involved with each other. We have to create that synergy to, uh, you know, to make those goals happen of that client. You know, speak with the client, identify their goals, and then get the right people together to make those goals happen. Thank you very much for your time. To join the movement for more information or to become a volunteer, contact us at 519-974-2581 extension 2420 or email info at WEC.ca.